Kudakata ya kijana na toke Ibobo kwa ibu ya nui Kwa ibu ya nui Since his earnest pledge to industrialize the state, Governor Udemy Emanuel has brought about an unprecedented avalanche of industries into Akwaibu. During his various political campaigns, Governor Emanuel had made it clear that industrialization was a priority under his administration and went as far as unveiling a blueprint indicative of his resolve and transmogrifying the state into an enviable industrial hub in the Gulf of Guinea. When they saw recession, we saw industrialization. When they saw recession, we saw prosperity for our people. When they saw recession, we saw wealth creation. Therefore, my dear brothers and sisters, our destination is closer than our takeoff. From a state which had no new industry since creation in 1987, Akwaibum, in the last six and a half years, is fast departing from a civil service dependent economy to an industrial belt with over 20 industries established and more coming. One of the industries recently established in the state is the King's Flour Mill, located at the Mbok or Cat Axis of Ona local government area. The flour mill is a bold and courageous step towards the realization of the completion agenda. Vice President Yemio Simbajo who led top government officials from the government and the organized private sector to join in celebrating the state's 32nd anniversary, inaugurated the flour mill factory on September 21, 2019. Speaking while inaugurating the 500 metric ton capacity per day flour mill, the vice president commended Governor Udum Emanuel on vision in attracting industries to the state and urged other states to emulate the Akwaibum government in providing quality infrastructure to assist in industrial revolution in the country. I want to congratulate Governor Odom Emanuel for partnering, for, partnering, for partnering with us, for partnering with the federal government so effectively by providing the means by which those who want to do business can come here and by ensuring that the infrastructure is first class. First, we have here, very close by, Ibom Power, which I'm told is able to provide all of the power that this plant, as well as others in this neighborhood, require. And then, of course, we have good roads. We have the roads that enable people to come here. But as I always say, the best that Nigeria has to offer is its people, its friendly, loving, and warm people. 
And so all of our investors look forward to coming to Nigeria. And I know that they look forward especially to come to Akwai Bomb State. He reiterated the commitment of the federal government towards the ease of doing business program in the country to attract investors, adding that with quality infrastructure and the relative peace prevailing in Akwaibum State, it is likely to be one of the preferred destinations for investments. The government of President Muhammad Buhari has spent a lot of time and resources and energy propagating ease of doing business in Nigeria. I have the great privilege of chairing the Presidential Enabling Council on Ease of Doing Business. And one of the things that we've emphasized is that we want to attract investment to Nigeria. How do we attract investment to Nigeria? We need power. We need infrastructure. We need the right environment to bring in investments. And so it's important that anyone, any state government that wants to bring investments in and wants to join the federal government, must also partner with us in providing some infrastructure and in providing the means by which it will be easier for businesses to come into Nigeria. In his remarks, Governor Odumi Manuel said the flour meal was a fulfillment of his electioneering campaign promise as he had pledged to make governance touch the lives of the people. We are trying to make governance touch the hearts of the grassroots. That's what we are trying to do. We want to let people know that politics has moved from propaganda, mischief, blackmail, into development all over the world. That's exactly what we are doing. The essence of this investment you're seeing here is just anchored on infrastructure development. But what bothers our mind is that we want to set the pace of good governance. What can touch the heart of the people? This is just one of them. When we started some of these programs, when we told people we're going to produce flour here, sir, we told them there's no place you go on planet Earth that people do not eat bread. If we cannot put bread for people, we have not actually demonstrated governance. We have the occasion of its commissioning, also elogized the flour meal and thanked the governor for partnering with the investors to bring it to reality. This factory is a factory that will feed Akwaibum, feed other Nigerians. It's a factory that will give us a lot of employment for the children. It's a factory that will give women an opportunity to trade by becoming distributors. So it has a lot of things to do with this. This factory has a lot of things to do with the people of this state. I want to thank uh, His Excellency for the love he has for the people of Akwaibom State, the love he has to transform Akwaibom State. This is a testimony that the people of Akwaibom State voted him for the second term. This is a signal that he's serious in developing Akwaibom State and making life better for the people. This is one thing we've been expecting. And of course, we have every reason to thank His Excellency, the Governor of Akwebom State, Ignodo Emmanuel. It's not only for now, it's for the entire federal government of Nigeria. So we are happy. For any um, industry, um, we expect, one, that uh, first there will be employment, and two, the products um, will be sold, so there will be distributors, and the raw materials for um, flour, cassava, um, our people will now be um, cultivating in large quantities and uh, increase their personal income. Governor Udumi Manuel, during the groundbreaking ceremony for the construction of the flour mill a few years ago, assured on the employment gains of the mill, assuring that the project will engage over 1,000 youths directly and indirectly. Immediately these people heard that we are bringing industry here. They never worried us one day. Come, take the land, build the industry. The investor had been marvelously surprised. When I told him what the community did, he said, 
it will do up to 60,000 tons of flour milling business here. And directly, in fact, indirectly, with all the, you know, trans you know, when it comes to flour mill, it's like cement. It employs a lot of youths. We are hoping directly and indirectly, we should be able to engage at least 1,000 youths here, directly and indirectly. The mill has a production capacity of 500 tons of flour a day and 400 tons of wheat. It also has silos of 15,000 tons capacity. With the gargantuan nature and capacity of the factory, it's apposite to note that it promises to significantly reduce unemployment in the state and country while resulting in the establishment of complementary firms and industries. Indeed, all this translates to more job opportunities. Throughout its different stages of incubation, the governor had kept track of progress at the flour mill project, constantly visiting and inspecting work done at the site. He used those occasions to eulogize the investors for their confidence in Akwaibum State, despite the dwindling economy and recession Nigeria faced at the time of initiating the project, informing that upon completion, the project would end the frustrating era of traders who deposited money elsewhere for flour. Even in the face of recession, some states have been working and something is actually paying off. And I'm putting the right people at the right place and actually bring the right result. This is the clear message. The era of them depositing so much money all over the country for flowers that were not sold, supplied in three months is over. Here yeah, is value for money. And I, I'm sure they will be happy all around. Addressing the excited members of the community that thronged the premises of the factory during that visit, Governor Emmanuel appreciated the host communities for providing conducive environments for the investors. <laughs> We have these things here. I have to tell me any. Maybe I don't even buy warehouses around here. Maybe I don't even buy sugar. This supply around here. There is no more than flour. I have sugar. I have to do the second hand bread. I have ginger. I have pork. I have biscuit. So I have to do anything, buddy. I have to do anything, boy. Today, the King Flower Mill stands tall in size and capacity with automated working machines, fully equipped workforce, comprehensive standard facilities, and producing optimally. The managing director of VKS, promoters of the King's Flower Mill, Mr. Onur Kumral, identified Governor Dumi Emanuel's industrialization policy and the peace attracted to the state as major catalysts that have attracted numerous investments in the last couple of years. Onur said he and other investors were able to come to Akwaibu because the governor had formulated a framework to partner with private investors to bring their investments into the state. Mr. Kumral went further to explain that by providing electricity, road infrastructure and security, the governor has laid a solid foundation for emerging companies to thrive in the state. The written policies or the policies that you talk doesn't mean anything. The policies have to be executed by the, the governors and His Excellency, Deacon Gabriel Odome Manuel is the one that was executing the, the procedures and, and the policies. That's why the investors like me are here and doing all these investments. You know, the governments, this is a 100% private investment. You cannot take it as 100% uh, private investment. You have to take it like, like, like a coalition between the government and the private companies. When I mean the coalition, I mean a miracle. And the miracle is electricity coming to the investment. 
and and in Africa, it's not possible at all to have the electricity the day you want. And His Excellency is giving it to us. And the roads, uh, when we when we said him that we need roads, he immediately built us roads here up to here. I told you, I told upstairs there that it was taking one and a half hours from the capital Uyo to come here, and now it's 45 minutes only for me to come and 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 have. I have to see my guys and all that stuff. The indigents praised the governor for the development the flour mill brings to them and the community as a whole, as well as the job opportunity provided for the teeming youths in the state. This project is an amazing project. It's a miracle project, as a matter of fact, because of the time frame that we have been able to achieve what we have so far. We have to thank the excellency, the governor, for making this project a reality. Because without him, these are things we are seeing in Lagos, Abuja and everywhere. But today, it comes up to a quite state. As a whole, I came in here now on the 27th of April, 2019. And my job here is, as a, I save here as a waiter here in King's Flamingo Limited. I want to thank the government of Akwebo Mosemo, especially Udomge Belimandro, for what he has done for us. And for me, myself and my family, at least we have what to eat, at least for a day. So I want to thank the governor so much for what he has done for me. I use this privilege to thank our governor for bringing this development to the village of Ona, for he has helped a lot of people for bringing this development. I say may God bless him in Jesus' name. The King's Flower Mill has gradually become a tourist and research site, attracting students on excursions and facility visits. Students and staff of one of such tertiary institutions, Trinity Polytechnic, Uyo, were so impressed and thanked the governor for opening up Kwaibum to greater developmental projects and opportunities. I want to really appreciate His Excellency Governor Udum Emmanuel for giving this beautiful opportunity to have these kind of factory here in our, on our local government area of Akwaibom State. I want to really appreciate him for giving this opportunity because he has really emphasized on industrialization and making use of our hands to do things and not really relying on the government to help us do everything. So I want to really appreciate him and his beautiful wife for giving us this opportunity to see this beautiful factory. So we find out that what is happening here is real. I give it to the governor of Akwa Ibom State, His Excellency Governor Odom Gabriel Emmanuel. He has done so much for Akwa Ibom State. And this will encourage my students to study hard in their respective field, especially those in SLT. They can have opportunity here to work here as a quality control. They can also do other things. So what is happening here today is amazing. So I use this opportunity to tell our governor that he has done well. Other visitors include journalists, opinion leaders, and other players in corporate Nigeria. The journalists came from the Berekete family and human rights media group, as well as another group of northern journalists who came on a visit tagged Handshake across the Niger. Our visit here uh, to Akwa Ibom State has been a very, very big eye opener to what good governance is all about in Nigeria. Uh, this visit, uh, I, I would say, is a major handshake uh, across the Niger. And I believe that. Uh, and uh, for what we have had and what we have seen, uh, you are truly the Nostradamus of our time. That is the man who saw the world. Mr. Angelo Hayua, the general manager of King's Flower Mill, told Akwaibum Rising Television that the industry has a production capacity of 700 to 1,000 tons of flour and wheat per day which has exceeded the expected 500 metric tons. We produce about 7, 700 to 7,800 bags of flour of 50 kg pack sizes in a day. 
and about 2,200 of wheat offers, otherwise known as bran. It is used for animal feed. And uh, because of the demand of the product, the demand is extremely far higher than the supply. And uh, we have no option than to look for a way to expand this meal because uh, the demand is extremely very high. Uh, because the quality is also very consistent. The bakers so much love the quality of the product. He also explained that the introduction of a fully computer automated production process has improved its operations and ensured faults are quickly detected. We have the cleaning section, the production and then the packaging section. Everything is controlled from here and once there is any challenge it can be detected from here and then it can easily be fixed without uh, taking much time. What I've also seen here in King's Flower Mills is that um, it has provided a lot of employment opportunities for Nigerians, Aqua Ibomites, and uh, even the foreign investors, some of the foreign investors that are here. Uh, we are doing extremely very well in King's Flower Mills and we look forward to expanding this mill. Hayuwa extolled Governor Udomi Manuel's drive to make a Kwaibom state conducive for investors, which has resulted in the number of factories commissioned in the state and the attendant job opportunities, and disclosed that 1,200 people are directly and indirectly employed by the company. At the moment, we have about 200 staff, uh, but that's direct staff, but over a thousand indirect staff. I'm talking of bakeries, drivers, motorboys, and a lot of other activities that has to do with food vending and the rest of them within the around premises and within the, the, the premises of King's Flower Mills. Uh, we really need to give thanks to the governor of Aquaibom State because that's uh, His Excellency Udom Emmanuel, because okay. he has created the conducive environment to lure investors to come in here and invest. That is why you can see King's Fly Mills and some other industries that are coming up, or those that are already here, uh, working and providing economic, I mean, promoting economic activity in the state. Uh, if other states can emulate what the governor of Aquaibom State is doing, I think Nigeria will be better for it than the idea of importing a lot of things. Experts have projected that the numerous industries in the state, such as the Jubilee Syringe, Metering Solutions, King's Flour Mill, St. Gabriel Coconut, among others, would generate over 10,000 direct and over 50,000 indirect employments in the state. Before now, South Africa was the largest producer of syringe in Africa, with a capacity of 95 million. With a production capacity of 400 million syringes per annum, it is obvious that the Jubilee Syringe Factory, Akwaibum, has emerged the largest in Africa. We've noted that Nigeria today, with about 170 million people, consume on the average 6 billion syringes every year. And 100% of that imported into this country. So we made a bold step that syringe manufacturing is not rocket science. That once we can get polypropylene within Nigeria, we can actually make do with few other raw materials and we can have syringes in highest quality ever. It is also worth noting that the state currently runs its own airline company, Ibum Air, which provides daily services for passengers flying the Uyo Abuja and Uyo Lagos routes thrice daily. This is the only state across the country that runs, manages, and we have one of the best international airports 
on this entire region. Our runways are being upgraded to a category two runway, which is not common, even with the African countries. The state owns, runs, and maintains this Victor Atta International Airport. The governor's new industries are trailblazers and economic growth poles around which service-based firms would evolve. This avalanche of industries is resulting in the emergence of a middle class who could maximize this leap to their advantage. Indeed, Governor Emmanuel is determined to ensuring that there is quality living standard in Akwaibu. Industrialization is the fastest way of making that possible. Governor Udomi Manuel took office with a clear vision to industrialize Aquaibom State. Milestone by milestone, he's bringing that vision to life through massive investments in quality education, accessible health care, agriculture and infrastructure, new roads and bridges linking communities to opportunities. Facilities designed for the world's leading businesses and factories established through partnerships to create jobs and add value to the economy. We're building a bright, inclusive future where Aquaibum stands as the gateway to the region and the hub for West Africa. We're committed to that vision and we're well on our way to arriving at that destination. Akwaibum. Ibameka. Ami, Madakanda.